This is my one of my favorite songs in the whole world, and it makes me think of you when I hear it. Just listen to, to the open lyrics, Naomi. It makes me think of us. It was 1962. I drove a corner in a jukebox, playing a song for you. Kissed you by the pinball king. Listen to the cow Shannon sing. I had all his records. He was my favorite thing. And that's all right. This is Ron Hines. Won't come back again. And, um, no longer That's with us, but he was known as a man with a thousand songs. And, and he wrote his lyrics. Listen. So here we are. That ticket sounds like great. Okay, fifteen hundred dollars. I can. I got a thousand. I gotta come up with five hundred. But I'm getting paid in a couple of days. From my father, four hundred. So. In about three or four days, I'll have 1,400. So let's, how long can that ticket last for? Um, yeah, of course, uh, the, the, right, the right thing to do in every way is for you to get here as soon as possible. And uh, let's go uh, build a snowman and, um, and hang out with the uh, family, because uh, they're here. And uh, listen to the lyrics. The beach, I lay in the sand with you. I sang songs till the rain would come. Straight across the fields we'd run. You wrapped a sweater around my, my first guitar. I walked you home. The song, it won't come back again. That's wrong. But uh, while I got you here, um, I've been listening to. Uh, some of your music on, uh, on, on Nami Fix Music, and uh, I should let you know, you've never known this about me, but when I was 14, my favorite album was Chicago's Greatest Hits, and I used to listen to that on my headphones uh, constantly after school, all night long. I smoke, I smoke a joint and I just listen to uh, Chicago's Greatest Hits, the horn section, but also um, same time, I was listening to uh, Stevie Wonder uh, songs from the Keys of Life constantly on headphones, almost forever. So uh, I'm going to play you a song. One second here. It's a song by Peter Cetera, and if you don't know, he was in a band called Chicago. Um, and the reason that I like the 70s and 80s and why I feel like I never left is because um, I started traveling by coach, bus, and ferry to Vancouver at quite a young age and I remember getting off the bus and hauling my bags. I got a hat. This hat would fit the uh, natural birth father's this hat would fit and, little Lou. And he would drive me around the city and I would just look at the bridges and the architecture and, and uh, I would get out of the car and I'd feel the breeze. Um, and this kind of music was always around me and playing, so um, as much as I'm not really a fan of the radio today, I definitely have fond memories of the radio. So I just found this, uh, and so this song this one of those that songs you sang that feels by Peter Satira. It's reminiscent of, and, uh, of my own romantic. You have enough um, music, Nami, to. Uh, uh, fantasies as a I'm kid. thinking you as a soundtrack to my film, to the films that I film. But the like idea of, of, of putting so, together what you already have, like, some people might call me just a matter of going onto this, YouTube and actually you're making a copy of each one and you could actually, love you have, love Peter Cetera. this is beautiful, like, you. you could actually uh, this is for you. be, next time I follow <laughs> there's certain, you could play Vegas, sister, but I'd love to start a band with you and, um, I'll learn the song at some point. So I'm here. I'm here listening to you. And you're uh, you're very far away, but you're you're so you're so so near. I was thinking we've actually uh, been communicating to each other uh, since '96. Uh, you 
this is such a beautiful song. I don't know that I can't, I can't sing with you or listen with you. So, so I'm going through uh, the artwork that I have of this woman. Her name is Raquel. And uh, I've got a three or four hundred prints. And uh, I believe they're so beautiful. Like they're, they're more, they're, they're, it's more valuable than money. So I'm in the basement. I'm in, I'm in the room where we made love and created uh, this baby, actually. So. So right now I'm on the, I'm in the studio and um, <clears throat> I have a mother growing and uh, I have Einstein and the Newfie Bullet. I'm, I'm on Broadway helping father but I'm heading back to Pasadena to uh, work on the house and uh, chop wood actually. It's important to chop wood. Carry water and chop, ch carry, wa <laughs> carry water. So beautiful now in this song. And if it drives me crazy, I so, of course, the plan, that's a great plan, but how long is that ticket going to last for? Okay, i got a thousand now, and I can have... I can have four hundred dollars in a couple of days. So that's fourteen. I'll be able to get fifteen hundred dollars in three or four days. But uh, is, is that enough time? Okay, um, I don't The next time I fall in love? Beautiful song. So, do I still have you here? <laughs> I have you here. I'm gonna put you on pause, no? And then I'm going to, I'm actually, I'm about to set up where I have Jonathan, <clears throat> Jonathan and guests and, uh, and have a video blog, musical thing. And, uh, and, and uh, as you can see, a you know, marijuana project. Okay, um, forgive me for not finger plunking. I just can't. I believe the way to communicate is uh, with the technology we have now. I mean, I, this is my letter, my letter, my letter to you. Okay, I love you guys, you girls. And uh, okay, I'm gonna get back to you on that uh, that ticket. How long is that ticket going to uh, be at that price for? Okay, over and out from Newfoundland. <laughs>